Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel 2. We are back in the mirror and we have the entirety of the class together again. But, as you can see, we have a shitload of bonding points, which means we got a lot of events as well. So, if we look on the list, I already counted, it's like 11 events and I know that some of them are stacked. So I imagine the one with Elliot Tilmachias like three different events we can look back to back if we want to yeah it's a lot so we need to decide which seven we want and which one we're gonna watch beforehand and then reload like we always do so uh, the one that i've chosen so far my first selection is of course gonna be the three with elliot uh, uses sarah and machias so that we have machias because we have uh, hadn't done him last time and with Sarah in the mix as well uh, Then it was of course with our main girl Alyssa Gaius Emma uh, Those were the ones that I had in mind so far that are six and then we have one left we can pick which is relatively gonna be between Fee or Laura and I'm thinking I'm leaning a bit more towards Laura at this time because she just got back to Emir. So it would be our first bonding event with her. So that would be your pick for now. That means that P, Sharon and uh, Milliam's uh, events uh, we can look beforehand and then reload. And of course, meaning with Milliam, both events there with her and Claire. So that might be interesting indeed. So for now, let's just start by going around town, talking to everyone before we go over with uh, the bowling events and see if we can find some items or hidden quests and that kind of stuff. Because I'm sure there is going to be at least one of either of them. So let's have a look around. And of course, we know that the stores were restocked because they did mention it last time that uh, it was coming. So that will be interesting as well, just to see if there are anything different we can trade with. And of course, is the item store enhanced so we have better healing items because that's what I'm looking for the most at the moment. Okay, we got one person in there. Yeah, we'll be back for you later. Ah, Father Bernard is always so dependable when it comes to medical care. I feel like I'm back to my old self again, which means it's about time I got out of bed and returned to business as usual. Well, I'd strongly advise against that. You still need rest. And while I'm sure you're feeling out of shape from old bed rest, I'd also advise against going out hunting. But, but, but when can I go hunting again? Well, your injuries are so great we could have lost you. For peace of mind, I'd like to keep an eye on your condition for another week. A whole week? Uh, well, if we must. <laughs> His passion for hunting is still as strong as ever, I see. I can't deny my disappointment, but if Father Bernard says I must, then I've little choice in the matter. But the minute I'm being clear to hunt, I'll be bringing home a massive wild boar to celebrate. <laughs> Count on it, Reen. Oh, we're counting on it, alright. His recovery is coming along nicely, but the battle isn't over yet. He still needs to rest as much as he can. There's no medicine more effective than time. Hmm. Maybe, but depends on how you look at it. I'm sure there's some really, really effective medicine out there, especially in a world like this. Anyone downstairs? Yeah, we got the shit. And that's it. Oh, you'll be meeting with your classmates today, yes? Yeah, there are a few things we need to cover before going forward. Plus, we need to talk about Elise and the princess too. <laughs> that determination in your eyes is so like your father's. No matter what path you choose to follow, always know that you have our support. Just remember to take care of yourself, alright? <laughs> I will, I promise. I am relieved to see your classmates uh, are safe and well. It's clear as day that you won't stop at helping out uh, them, however. Everyone you've met, students from the academy, your instructors, all the citizens from all the towns you've visited. They've all left their mark on you, and I know you want to help them as much as you can, but I couldn't be more proud of you, Reen. Yeah. We already know where everything is going to go towards, if it's up to Reen. We just need to make sure the rest of the class is uh, in line with that as well. 
Ooh, bro, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> He's really taken uh, to fee. He does, he is. Oh, Lord Theo condition improved has no doubt caused Arthur to perk up as well. He truly loves his master, I can tell you that. I'll have to be sure to keep him well brushed for when Lord Theo is fit to ride him again. One more week. One more week. Patrolling this territory and slaying dangerous monsters are all important duties of a ruling lord. And I'm sure Lord Theo will soon be ready to resume doing so. Hold on just a while longer, Arthur. Okay, there's Laura. Ooh, my bike. It's Angelica's orbital bike. Well, I have to take good care of this in Angelica's place. Uh, I hope we will meet her at some point during the game. I wonder where she is and how she's doing. Ooh. Yeah, this is a really nice garden, isn't it? Alright. What else do we have here? I'm pretty sure we can all use a nice um, food bath as well, but I'm guessing we're gonna have some potential scenes uh, at the Phoenix Wings with that. But uh, we'll have to wait. If not, we could always do it at the end of it. Alright, let's go by the church. And we end up uh, at the store as last, because... There's going to be a lot of interesting things there, and I might want to take some time just to go over all of them. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to find all your classmates. I should probably go around and ask them all to take good care of you. You're like a younger brother to me, and I love you dearly, but you have a habit of finding trouble. <laughs> Unless you really want to embarrass me, please don't. Well, if you insist. I feel as though I should, though. At the very least, I should ask your instructor to take good care of you on our behalf. Seriously, don't do that. Don't make me back here. If you say so. Why do I have a feeling she's gonna ask, regardless of what I want? <laughs> it, that's how it feels at the moment, to be honest. Okay, guys, we'll be back for you later. Oh, tidying up the storehouse is such a pain in the neck. Maple, please make sure you don't say anything like that in front of our visitors. Although, I can't deny that it's true. My back's starting to hurt even. Gee, I wonder why. I sure wish I had that problem. Please, just stop. I'm just so envious. She cut the size, she cut the bounce, and those alone are a seriously deadly combo. Sharon's boobs are pretty impressive too, though. I wonder who's bigger between the two. Purple clothes always make it kind of hard to tell how busty she really is. But I'll find out someday. Ooh, I will find out. Yeah, you can uh, let us know what you uh, figure out in the end of it. Oh, I'm so envious. Oh, I wish you could act more like a maid sometimes. That and I wish she could be a little more sensitive. She's always making fun of things I'm self-conscious about. Is the Phoenix Wing storehouse. There are various kinds of equipments inside. Yes, there are. Well, I was almost wondering if they would ask me to help clean the storehouse for them. Like in a potential side quest. Because we have had hidden side quests in, in here every time we got back. So, I know they're here, but where are they? Okay, that's... Sarah? Oh, I'm pleased to say that the outdoor bath has repaired at last. Gizmo made it exactly how it used to be too. <laughs> it was nice to see you enjoying it last night too. Now the Phoenix Wing can finally return to business as usual. Do come and use the bath whenever you have the chance. Yeah, as long as you promise not to watch me when I'm in there. That, that, that's all I ask. Well, I'm pleased to say that the outdoor bath has been repaired at last. Now the Phoenix Wing can find return the business as usual, so do come and use the bot whenever you have the chance. Ooh, I definitely will, I can guarantee you that that's useless. So it's not stacked, they're just a different location. They were stacked because it's in the same building. Then what did they mean by you got multiple bonding events with that certain person? Well, we'll figure it out. I hope it doesn't mean that there's actually 15 events and we only have 7, because that would be really difficult to choose then. 
I'll probably still stick with my main first choices, like with Alyssa, Laura, and Sarah. And just uh, work from there. I'm just as perplexed about what to do next as you are. I thought bouncing ideas of Elliot might help me thinking of something, but again, no dice. I'm afraid my thought process hasn't been much better. It goes without saying uh, that saving Elise, Princess Elvin and your dad takes top priority for me, but... Oh, we need to consider the country as a whole before we commit to something. The war's taking away our rights to be selfish. Which means we need to weigh in more than just what we want. As nice as it would be to abuse Velomar's power willy-nilly. He is totally right. Because even though uh, saving those three are important to them, they have to see what kind of impact they can have on the war in total. Not just for what they want, but for the rest as well. Because if us saving Princess Elvin will make the situation worse for everyone, I'm pretty sure Reen wouldn't want it. I think Princess Elvin wouldn't want that. So yeah. There's really a lot to consider here, and I'm very, very intrigued to uh, see it once we're done with going over the town, doing all the bonding events and stuff like that. Because yeah, it's going to be an interesting discussion, definitely. That noble was working on something in the plaza yesterday. She said she was improving her fishing tackle or something. Oh, she's pretty weird for a noble. She had a hammer and a saw out. She said she was working on improving some fishing tackle or something. He's pretty weird for a noble. Well, Annabelle is a really nice girl. And a fishing champion. Aficionado? Yeah. Oh, we found all the classmates now, right? Ah, oh, good news, good news. And you know what to do during good times? Haha, <laughs> right? We drink. Come on, Gerald, a toast to Ring's classmates. Maybe that was genuinely what you were celebrating, but if you just want an excuse to drink, you know you do. <laughs> ah, damn it, you got me. Some things never change. Ah, I really am happy you found them all, Reen. <laughs> no, no. Ah, now we just need young Lady Elise back too. Here's to finding her soon too. Cheers. Yeah, an excuse to drink on every occasion. <laughs> That's Morris. Hmm, the guild uh, should probably follow your guys' example and figure out what we're gonna do next, to be honest. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep working with you guys. Might be easier now that Sarah showed up again too. Well, I'm down if you are. <laughs> ah, there we go. But yeah, leave worrying about guild stuff to us. You guys uh, got your own stuff to take care of. Yeah, because if we can decide what we want to do as a class, I'm pretty sure like Toval, Sharon, Claire and Sarah, they would do all they can to assist us in that manner. Don't worry about what we so-called adults think. You guys just focus on figuring out what you want to do. And when you finally do figure that out, I know for a fact that uh, it'll be something you can be proud of. I do truly hope so. Oh, hey there. Congrats on finally getting all your classmates back together. I'm glad to see that they're all safe too. Not like they ever seemed like the kind of people who'd go down easily. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The hard part is still yet to come though. We might all finally be reunited, but now we need to sit down and decide exactly what it is we need to do to make a difference. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Uh, by the way, completely unrelated, but uh, do you mind if I ask you a small favor? A favor? It's not often you ask favors of me. You see, we've got a noble called Annabelle staying here at the moment, but I haven't seen her since she left to go fishing yesterday. She's been gone for a whole day? That's right. She's always seemed to be crazy about her fishing, but this is the first time she's been gone this long. It's the middle of winter too, so I'm a bit worried about her. If you're free, I really appreciate if you went looking for her. Definitely. Yeah, I can help you out there. Our discussion isn't until a bit later. If she went out fishing, I'm guessing she's probably somewhere on the valley behind the village. That's what I figured too. The, the hard part is finding out how far down the pass she's gone. I don't have any leaves there either. You just have to go and uh, comb from top to bottom. Well, technically since we are at the bottom, it'll probably be better for bottom to top, but uh, I get the gist of it. Alright, I'll be sure to bring her back as soon as I can. Annabelle's always fishing uh, along the valley, so I'm pretty sure that's where she is this time too. 
where exactly though? I couldn't tell you. You're just gonna have to search the place from top to bottom, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's fine. We, we can deal with that. Yes, 180. Put down the pile. Okay, let's uh, check upstairs to see if there's anyone there. Nope, because Annabelle is out fishing, and that means all guests are out. Oh, I wonder what Elise and Princess Elvin are up to right now. I'd like to believe they're safe and unharmed, but I can't say I have that much faith in the Alliance. I just wish we uh, could hear something about them. Rumor, fact, anything. I wonder if they're in prison somewhere, like uh, it seems His Majesty is. The more time that passes without us hearing anything, the more worried I get. Yeah, but uh, now that everyone is together, we can start formulating a plan. Or at least a, a way to attack. And who knows, maybe the next course of action is trying to get in contact with Oliver. And of course, uh, Vicond Arseed, because I think... What they are busy with, what they're up to, is going to be a very important part of where we're going to go next. So, I think that would definitely be the case. How are we going to handle that? I don't know. Maybe the others can get into contact once we decide that we want to involve ourselves into the war. And then maybe they come flying here. So many possibilities, I have no idea. You can now play the course A3. Alright, let's go for it. Just a minute, we can make it. Can we do it in uh, one go again? As long as I don't, uh, if I don't be sneaky with uh, where they put uh, the flags, because it wouldn't be the first time they do that. Uh, trying to be more sneaky every time. Trying to make it harder for us. But uh, I think once we go to B or C, that's when the real <laughs> challenge uh, starts. Yeah, so maybe we can start doing tricks then as well. Oh, well, it's only 19. I was almost counting on the 25 again. Perfect. I did it! New record! I'm more interested in what the prize is for this. Oh, nice work. That uh, there was an expert level course too. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead, take it. Passion Laggings. Ooh, and uh, take this too. It's a new board that's gotten real popular among the youngsters. A uh, purple dotted board. Select board on the course menu is now available. The difference between boards is purely cosmetic. So feel free to choose based on personal preferences. And they'll be sure to keep the courses well maintained. So if you feel like boarding again, just come on by. <laughs> I certainly will. See you then. Uh, next time we'll definitely gonna use a new board. But what's that about the laggings? Oh, and having said that, uh, let's get rid of those just in case uh, you're gonna be gone. Mm, passion leggings. Strength, defense, prevent, freeze. Not a bad pair of leggings, definitely not. Alright. Oh, morning, Reen. You got some meeting today, right? Yeah, Class 7 is finally back together again. So, we just need to hash out what we're gonna do from here on out. Well, makes sense. <laughs> you know. I'm hearing you talk like this makes me think Thor's was exactly what you needed. It's nice seeing you so focused, but don't get uh, so caught up in your thoughts that you forget to take a break every now and then. Sure, it's just planning, but that's the easy part. What comes next is the tough part. You need to find some time to relax, okay? <laughs> Got it. Don't worry, I will. This is the cable car station that connects Emir with the bottom of the mountain. I don't need to use it now. Will there ever be a moment that we need to use it? Even if for story related purposes, it would be nice just to see how it works. Oh, Mr. Gizmo is an amazing craftsman. All he needs is some wood and he can fix just about anything. You know, like how he patched up the roof when they were charred. 
he even fixed the open air bath. Come to think of it, there's a lot of really cool guys in the mirror. It's like everyone's here is really good at something. I can figure out who I want to be uh, like most. It's gonna be Reem. And this uh, is a slight spoiler, of course. <laughs> and there's Sharon. To the surprise of no one, my wife ended up ordering a ton of useless junk again. This uh, order's highlight includes some castanets and a shaved ice maker. I can't imagine anyone actually buying those, so I just tossed them into the storehouse. <sighs> I really don't know what uh, goes through her head sometimes. She can really be surprisingly sharp when she wants to be, but most of the time, more than anything, I just wish she'd stop ordering in things that won't sell. It's a waste of money. Well, I might buy it. Sounds nice though. Anything here that's... Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that I said, hey, you got two, two rods for Emma, but this is of course specifically for uh, Elliot. It is interesting though, like, do we want to buy it or are we going to wait till we get to the next area where we might get something better? Because that's, that's a reasonable assumption, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, customize quartz. Yeah, it's down the level where we were in the previous town. So that's really, really good. We just need uh, some more separate because I used everything to get some money to buy those expensive stuff. Even though since the scene went on a lot longer than I thought it was, I missed out on spending my last 60k on one of the other accessories, but it's fine. I do hope that we're going to get back there. On the other side, I'm hoping maybe here in the mirror we might get everything that's everywhere so maybe we'll be able to buy the pendulums here too oh i saw young uses in front of the store not long ago he's such a handsome young man isn't he <laughs> he can spend as long as he likes out there if you ask me it's good to see all of your other classmates back there too although i still feel like someone's missing am i imagining things that someone won't be gone for long though we'll bring him back too hmm maybe net that will be the next part of the mission getting crow back again oh i feel like one of your classmates is still missing but maybe it's just my imagination oh details it's wonderful there's so many customers <laughs> right Ooh, emir manju is standard now and he knew what's the word set in them and no better healing yet i was hoping to get the third uh, level uh healing but uh, so far, no good. And no new bo books either, really? I thought with some uh, new shipments of good, you would definitely get some uh, new books then. Oh well. Alright, that's uh, everyone in town except for the people we have bonding events with. So I would say, shall we go out and see if we can help Annabelle get back into town? <laughs> Because she is missing. And after that, we, if we have the time, we might do one or two uh, bonding events that we will not pick. I should call the others if I'm heading out to the valley. Call friends. Uh, are we going to use the same people we had from... Uh, Berea Hard? I think that would be wise. Just in case we do need to fight. Uh, yeah. We, could, we can do some basic uh, tactical stuff to get everyone in line with where they roughly needs to be. There's just not so important because I think there might be new enemies here, but last time there were just a few changes and not really that dramatic. That's a new one. But before you do that... Oh, I could probably fish here. You probably can. Alright, let's uh, fish something up. Let's see huh. if uh, the new region is added in here. Or some totally new fish. That's uh, okay by me too. Caught one. Caught a warrior. 
didn't put up much of a fight, to be honest. <laughs> A smaller version of the version of the warrior. Is that gonna be a squire? <laughs> Not bad. A fighter. Well, it's in the same range of uh, thought, isn't it? <laughs> huh. yeah, three more. Maybe a salamander and a crab. Ooh, what a lucky guess! Damn, yeah, shoot. Really used that lock on something today. Not what I had in mind. <laughs> I had. Come on, two more. I'm betting it's not gonna be a crab, the last one, is it? Not what I had in mind. Would be funny though. And after that, we're gonna see who the new monster is, and then let's go find Annabelle. Now, just more salamanders all around. Not what I had in mind. Good. All right, I think we're ready to have a little bit of a fight. No, only with an advantage. <laughs> I don't even think we need an advantage, but it does help. Ha! This will be over in an instant. Mm, I think so too. With pleasure. Doesn't mean we shouldn't take this it seriously. Because there's a lot of different enemies, so if they all miss, we still have a little bit of a problem. Shadow Stitch! Our chat! Got you! Let's move! Of course. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, and you have course to overdrive when you to I'll fully fill as well. Uh, I might do that in between Let's the episode, move. or Sit. maybe wait until we go to the next okay. region. Okay, it's safe for now. Cause I, to be honest, I don't expect any big fights uh, here happening. Uh, At least yes. not yet. I don't know what Annabelle's up to, but I'm sure it's not gonna be like a boss encounter because of it. Uh, do we have an indicator yet? No, I don't see. Probably in the next region. Let's see if we can go past all of them. Because I think the monkey by now should be scared. Eh, I just wanted to fight the blue one. Come on. Our chance. Let's get him. We will. Don't worry. May I? Here I go. Second form. Gale. Just as long as one of the two does something like this, we'll soften up everyone enough Here I come. to make it no challenge whatsoever. Here I go. That's uh, where Leave we want to it. I wonder if at some point we'll get Leave more that. braver points than five. Uh, I'm not saying of we're course. gonna have like another option added this? to the list, because I think the options Let's that move. we have is more than fine. But ha! if we could get like seven bravery okay. points, it would ha give us a lot more versatility with those points. Like, are we gonna go rush twice, or are we gonna use a burst instead of that? Both very valid options. Yeah, we'll have to see where it goes. Because they do implement changes along the way, so there still might be a few coming. And yes, and I just saw the confirmation that the monkey is scared enough of us to just run away. Okay, if she's here, she will probably be on that bridge. There she is. Hey, Annabelle, forgot about the time. Oh my, already tired? Oh yes, you certainly are. Any fish would be after fighting all night long. Oh, got you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dread. 
I took my bait to swim off again. Why? Why fish? Is your fishy stomach a bottomless pit of hunger? How did I know this was how we'd find her? I can't believe she's been fishing all night. Then again, I totally can. Uh, excuse me, Annabelle? I think it would be best to return to Ymir and get some sleep. Considering how you feel you clearly are, or tired you clearly are, if you were to fall into the water, I dread to think what might happen. Oh, hogwash. I'm so close to finally catching it, I can already taste its delicious filet uh, body. I refuse to go back empty-handed, that's just simply unthinkable. Her passion is commendable, but I hardly uh, think letting her continue is wise. She's so focused on fishing, she's not seeing things clearly. Is there nothing we can do? Oh, I know. What if I caught the fish that you're after in your place? Would that work for you? Oh, a fishing battle is what you want, is it? I'd be happy to accept. Let's see who can uh, catch the little devil first, shall we? Oh, that's not what I... Sure, game on. I hope I can actually catch it. It sounds like a big one. Well, we don't have any new rods, that's for sure. Oh, just a bit more. A bit more and you're mine uh, for the taking, blue devil. Ah, is she sure about at her limit here? I should take her back before something really bad happens. Uh, no, there's no new rod, so we're stuck with what we can do. We crit on somebody? I could swear I had one fighter badge. It's probably a crit of someone. Either way, it's just 50 uh, points, so it would be too much trouble. How can we interact with that and fish ourselves? Ah, there it is. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Can't let it go. He's putting him a fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. What is it? Caught a mystery fish. Oh, it's huge. Did you catch it? Did you? Did you catch the mighty blue devil? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's gigantic. It's a monster we need to fight, is it? Come on! Damn, she tried to fish that up? <laughs> That's insane. She you caught it! You really caught it! This is the elusive blue devil. This is not the time for rejoicing. Stand back. This is clearly a monster. But what? Yeah, she would have definitely been in trouble if she had to do it by herself. But now, with our team, you'll be fine. An icy croaker. Yes, and of course, fire is. Not this uh, thing. Mm, should we just uh, roll over it like uh, a steam roll? Cause uh, Annabelle is here, so we won't, don't we want her to be in trouble. Chains. And regardless, this is always a good Under opening. I wonder what he can do. Can he summon more creatures, more blue devils? Maybe little blue devils to fight against us? It's my turn. Uh, 60. Uh, plenty of things to uh, throw uh, Ascroft again. That is definitely for sure. What are you? Time barrier. Break! Let's uh, cheat a little bit. We let's can move. definitely do that. All right, let's do this. Uh, understood. All right. Here I go! Mm, burn, confuse, can't unbalance. Rise, great towers! Give it a little bit of extra strength and to put some magic over it with Sharon. 
and the ultra should be relatively full by then and then we might be able to use it to gain a lot a little bit of edge rest in peace because if we can unbalance it we can just burst it Very well. which would be another moment of significant damage all right almost halfway there I check if in the higher elements is not mentioned so it should be good <laughs> Miss is even better. Uh, since we have another free magic, just do demon sign and see what that does. Uh, still decent amount of damage. My turn. Even from him, that significant amount of damage. Ha! It's my turn. I don't think uh, it would be effective to push everything forward again. Might as well try to break her. Break! Now's Thank our chance. You. Time to finish them off. All right. Leave it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fear the croaker. May I? You may. Arcus, activate. Thanks. Just to keep uh, everybody healed up. Better. Too slow. Here I go. Ah, heat wave. Huh? My turn. In the right. Well, uh, ballpark. No, I don't. I don't think I want to use overdrive. We're so close to uh, finishing it off. We might as well just do that. Gather on my blade. And uh, to be honest, it is real good practice for uh, after well. what we did in Bray Heart. Just a little bit of relaxation. Get those muscles working. Uh, do we. Mm, movement. This might How be a nice this? one. Even if we just uh, seed it for one round. Or, an, or nightmarish. I can get behind no. that too. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, that was a very big hit. Well done, Emma. Real proficient magic user there, definitely. Okay, it's safe for now. Isn't this a surprise? Oh, anyway, it wasn't easy, but I managed to bring her back. Ah, uh, sounds like things got pretty hairy out there. Allow me to apologize for exposing all of you to danger like that. I thought I could handle myself in a dangerous place, but my overconfidence may have been my undoing this time. I feel as though I've learned anew just how dangerous it can be to leave the shelter of a town. Well, as long as you understand that, I suppose that's all that matters. Yep, no one got hurt and she gets what she did was wrong. You really helped me out there by finding her. Here, take this as a little something from me. Ooh, some extra effort. Which, if I'm not mistaken, we can use that if we want to be more efficient with our money trick. Even though at the moment I have no need for it. <laughs> Still nice though. Are you sure I can have this? <laughs> sure as can be. It's nothing that special anyway. Oh, in that case, I feel as though I should give you some kind of reward as well. A new rod? Because you were making one. I wouldn't be uh, much of a noble if I didn't repay someone uh, for their kindness ooh prankster can pick up what that then is i want to definitely see that thanks oh thank you again for saving my life i may have been careless this time but next time i'll be sure to be fully prepared for the possibility of being attacked by the fish i catch <laughs> i don't know if that was the message that he was trying to make but better than nothing uh, she didn't learn a damn thing did she Oh boy, it looks like it'll take more than a brush with death to get her to give up her dangerous fishing excursions. Oh, definitely. You're a fishing master or you aren't. That's what Annabelle is. If you are, you just have to go for it. Ah, that's one less thing to worry about, at least. Gonna have to uh, have a word with that Annabelle to have something like that again now, won't I? Yeah, you, you might have to have a word with her. Even if just a little bit. 
Oh, I owe you my thanks for the assistance earlier. I could have ended up in quite the bind without it. And frankly, being outdone by your fishing skills showed me just how inexperienced I really am. I promise not to bite off more than I can chew from here on onward. That's good to hear. And speaking of good things, something smells nice. <laughs> You'd be surprised at just how juicy our little friend is. Ugh, now to wait for the rest. Is she eating the blue devil? Oh well. Who knows, maybe the devil is sweet. Alright. So, I think I am gonna leave it here. We're so close to um, normal times that I think it would be best if we start the next episode to make it a fully bonding one. And I think we'll have more than one episode necessary to watch all of them. So that's gonna be next time. Uh, if you have opinions on which one to pick over another and how that stacking works, just let me know and uh, we'll see which we pick next. I probably will just keep uh, with the choice I've made already, which of course is Elliot uses Sarah, Emma, Guy is Alyssa, and I think then Laura. I think we're just gonna keep it with that. And depending on how the stacking is during our next episode when we're trying it out, we'll adjust our choices according to that. So, until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we're going to do some bonding with all of our classmates. <laughs> See you then. Bye-bye.